Hello friends, hope you have watched my last video which is about basic ArcMap software tutorial on remote sensing. It's very much important for beginners. Still if you haven't watched my last video, please check the description section for the link. I have provided it for you. Okay, this is the next part of that video. I'm going to show you how to create a simple map using raster image instead of a vector image. Also I will show you how to locate your business locations or study area or any other special locations in a particular geographic region and also i have planned to show you some basic tips and additional knowledge on this software as a tutorial so let's get started well i am vimukti and welcome to the seek show youtube channel where you can find GIS and remote sensing based educational tutorials, tech reviews and other motivational stuff. If this is the first time you are watching my videos and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell button to get the latest notifications so you don't miss anything. Right. Okay, let's start with the first steps. I'm going to move into the data view. You saw when I am in the layout view. You can see I have two different file types. This one is a vector file, shape file, and this is a raster image, Landsat composited image and a satellite image. So here's what I am going to show you. I have done a research in this area. So I have my sample location. Suppose think, uh, suppose you have your business location. So any other particular location that you are interested in. So I am going to create a simple map using this satellite image and a vector shape file. So first I want to select my geographic region in this vector shape file I have enabled. And I use selection, select feature tool, this one. Click and I will select my interested geographic region. So I have already selected. Now I am going to enable my Landsat satellite image here. Now you can see the image like this one and then I'm go to Windows tab and go to image analysis click on the image analysis you will get the side window all these tools have been disabled yet so to enable click on this satellite image Landsat 7 composite.tiff image right now you can see they have enabled now I am going to use my clip image in the image analysis tab. Just give it a simple click. Right you can see new clipped image has been added to the table of contents. Then I am going to disable these two initial satellite image and the vector file. So I have already clipped a geographic region which is an interested area of my research. Right. So this is a temporary satellite image, temporary raster file to, to do a permanent one. Please right click on that raster file, go to data and go to export data. You can give a name for that newly created or clipped raster image and you can select or change the file type and compression type. You can do several other things in that particular window i will come up with another new tutorial on this one for so for now i'm not going to export it as a new raster file i will use the same existing raster file for my map so what i'm going to do i'm going to change uh, into my layout view so i'm going to delete this text this is my channel name seek show right so i'm going to zoom in right click and zoom to layer now you can see the interested area also I want to locate my uh, research area or oh, collected uh, the log sample sample sampling area sampling locations so to do that I have collected my uh, XY coordinate longitude and latitude coordinates so I'm going to mark them all suppose you have your business locations you can use your business uh, location using xy coordinate or long latitude so to do that you have to use this go to xy tool right to enable it you have to enable uh, standard toolbar and 
you can see in this menu tools toolbar so this is a tools toolbar in the tools toolbar you will find this go to xy tool click on it you will get this tool right now i am going to locate my first location right copy paste right then you have to click this flash point so this is my first location so this is this might be your uh, first business location and i am going to add a point here point has been added also you can add a call out button right okay i will add uh, the second location second sampling location hope you understand what i am doing now control v control x control v i'm again flashing the second location you can see i'm going to add another point in the second location and a call out button right and i have the third location you may you can use your business location or any other specific location that you have uh, have an interest in. paste control x control v flashing and adding a point and a call out button and i'm go we don't want this tool anymore so i'm going to close it so now you can see adjust see that you can click on this select element click you can adjust click you can simply adjust right click you can adjust now you want to type anything now you, suppose you want to type your sample location one location one i'm going to control i'm going to hit control c okay and this is my sample location two control v right to enable this texting double click on this call out you can get this properties window just paste right call out three is my sample location three you can change symbol size phone size so on so i have created this map but i want to upgrade this map into a professional level so what i want to use i'm going to change into the layout we hope you have basic knowledge if you haven't a uh, basic knowledge on the software if you want to learn from the beginning please check my playlist available in the channel right so this is what i want to show you i'm going to zoom out zoom to layer again then we we will see all the important things right okay right if you don't want that much you can uh, minimize another thing i want to show you suppose these points are just drawings right not a shape file right you can select simply select and move this point right also this point is a drawing simply you can delete i'm going to undo it i will give you a, a bonus tip to do these points or to convert these points or drawings into a shape file what you should do go to this drawing toolbar you have to enable drawing toolbar right click here and go to draw and you can see an option convert uh, graphics to features that means convert drawings into a shape file click on that and you can see point graphics and select the data frame you can export converted graphics you can give a name output location simply click ok do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes we want now you can see adjustable shape file right you can change locations change color change shapes anything but in the previous one 
all those were just drawings you cannot change anything right so i'm going to disable all those things that just drawings are enough for our purpose i'm going to adjust this uh, into some extent because the because in the layout wave it's difficult to uh, arrange our space existing space okay i think right this video is going to be somewhat low but i want to show you all the things i have planned to show you right okay then i'm going to zoom out so what i was about to do to upgrade this app into a professional level to do a professional level we need another thing please check this i'm going to insert another data frame so you can see this data frame has been enabled activated this has been deactivated to act reactivated this is the uh, this is another bonus tip for you right click and you can activate right so for now you can highlight it you can see the highlighted name new data frame so this is already activated and you can see another data frame here but no shape file or now no raster layers so i am going to copy this district shape file and paste on this data frame right simply right click here and paste layer and i am going to enable it now you can see the selected layer right i am going to deselect the selected features okay right up to some extent it's okay i think please don't forget to subscribe for my channel and if you have anything to ask please comment in the comment section if you have uh, any idea please comment for me i will create another video on the topic right and we want a north arrow if we want to upgrade this map into a professional level so you can see the north arrow here a simple north arrow and you want if you want a title you can add a title i just give a name title so you can double click on this title and adjust the symbol size I will set it as 36 bold okay apply title and we won't scale bar also because we are upgrading this map into a professional level you need to learn this hope you have watched till the end I'm going to select this one you can learn many things from this video definitely you can increase your knowledge i'm sorry for the thing that i happened it's not responding just give me one minute okay right it's okay now i'm going to select again alternating scale bar one and i'm going to properties here you can see division units i want kilometers also the label position below center i need km as label and apply ok right it's ok you can select any of other scale bar types there are different types and ok we will see the scale bar right we can adjust into the extent that we want I want it to be around 500 let's see is it possible right 500 and also I will need scale text also I will select 1 centimeter equals 10 kilometers simply you can adjust okay now it seems like it is confirmed my sample location so your business locations are here and the whole map or the whole country is here one other thing i want to show you we want extend indicator to do that go to new data frame properties 
the one which shows the whole country I will select the extent indicator tab and I will select this one and move into the other side and use a simple extent I will put a tick here and apply okay now this is the area that we have maximized in this window in this uh, map right this is uh, the professional one you can upgrade into many different features in this map and finally you can go to file you can export this map as a jpeg png or pdf file right i will show you that step as one last thing okay if you want editing please comment in the comment section if you hope you learned something new hope you saw something new from this video so please hit a like for this video and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please click the red subscribe button down there and comment if you have any ask share this video with your friends please don't forget to click the bell icon to get the latest video updates so this is the output i'm going to show you okay right this is the last one that we created you can have a title anything in this map okay that's all for today i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye